Hello boaters, welcome to Narrow Boat Journeys. My name is Phil, and at the time of recording this, I've lived aboard my narrow boat as a continuous cruiser for over 34 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling the canal system and making videos. It's actually a fairly decent summer's day today. We're on the Ashby Canal and starting off near Dadlington, we'll shortly be approaching Bridge 33. And in this video, I'm heading on northwards uh, through Sutton Cheney, where I stop to get water and empty the toilets. Then we'll carry on to Shenton and then on to Bridge 36, mooring just after Bridge 36, vaguely close to a place called Far Coton. Um, but it's it's a bit out in the middle of nowhere really so it sit back and enjoy the trip in the heart of old Leicestershire where the fields are green and white there's a ribbon of still waters where the narrow boats gently glide. It started back in 1794 when dreams began to steer, when the dreamers and the diggers made their ambitions clear. Oh, the Ashby Canal winding through. The veil built by hands of men who labored with pick and with pail from Marston to Mora through the English countryside, the Ashby Canal, where history and water abide with shovels and with spades. They carve through the land, through the clay and the gravel, by the strength of their hands. Twenty-two miles of waterway for coal and for lime, connecting towns and people, bridging space and time. Oh, the Ashby Canal Winding through the veil Built by hands of men Who labored with pick and with pail From Marston to Mora Through the English countryside The Ashby Canal where history and water abide Through tunnels and through cuttings Over aqueducts so grand The ash be float with purpose A lifeline to the land But time and progress altered The waterway's grand roll Yet still it stands a testament to the dreams of old. Oh, the Ashby Canal, winding through the veil, built by hands of men who labored with pick and with pail, from Marston to Mora, through the countryside the Ashby Canal where history and water abide Waters keep on flowing and its legacy ever last. This is Sutton Sheeny Wharf, 
it's quite a busy spot directly in front of us there is the cafe and just beyond that is a couple of water points and Elsa and disposal there used to be a rubbish disposal point here but the, the CRT have took it away and that is a real major blow even though they've created a new uh, refuse disposal point back at lime kilns in Hinkley uh, Losing it here is a major blow, really. You've got to go all the way now to the very end of the canal at Snareston in order to get rid of your rubbish. So that is a real nuisance. But anyway, I'm stopping here for water and to empty the toilets. So we'll resume the trip in a few minutes. Well, that's all that done. Off we go again. Now, if you want to stop here, because you can't moor on this bit immediately in front of me, this is only for the water points alone. Where those boats are just ahead are the visitor moorings. It's a bit limited. There's room for about four boats there, I say. But there's some quite nice walks through the woods around here. Uh, quite, you know, it's quite a popular stopping place. And of course, you've got the cafe. And you could do a round trip from there. You can walk up through the woods cross the canal and then back down the towpath to the wharf again. Now there's quite a long stretch of canal up until the next bridge and the, we've got the woods on our right and you, when you're boating along here watch out for low hanging trees um, they're, not, they're not too much of a problem if you're boating through singly but if you meet another boat coming uh, you, you might get forced into the low hanging branches be warned If you had a walk through the woods, this bridge up ahead is how you get back to the canal. It's an old disused railway bridge.
This part of the canal is actually on quite a high embankment. Here are the visitor moorings on the left, and just ahead is the Shenton Aqueduct. The village of Shenton itself is off to the left of here. Shenton is quite a pretty place, but there's not very much there. Uh, there, there used to be a farm shop. I'm not sure if it's still there any, or not anymore. Uh, there's no pub. There is an antiques place there. You might want to go and have a look around. But we're just approaching the aqueduct now. Those people are going down the steps. Now you really can't see anything much of the aqueduct from the canal, so let's take a little detour. And this path down to the road takes you to the village of Shenton. There's not really anything there. Uh, quite a pretty church, but the reason I didn't stop here is because of all the steps. And I'm gonna, I'd have to cycle to the supermarket in Atherston from here, then I'd have to cart my bike up these steps with all the shopping. That's uh, not my idea of fun. 
fact, there's more of them than I remember. But we will get to see the aqueduct, so I'll be walking underneath it. Oh, there's a rubbish bin there. Not for boaters waste, but then who's to know? So yeah, there's the... Uh, not much to see. It's quite a structure. And those pillars like leaning out like that, that's not a lens effect. It really does lean out like that. actually surprisingly dry. Usually these aqueducts leak and there'll be at least a few drips coming down but no not that one it's dry. So you can't see any of that from the canal. Well that's that, let's continue along the canal for a bit. I don't know what that beeping sound is, I think there may be some farm vehicles down there.
there's some very pleasant little moorings just up ahead very shallow of course but that's that goes all the way on this canal and shortly after there's a access to a lane a little country lane so i'm looking for somewhere to stop round about here so thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the cats of course i'll see you next time i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you very much for watching Join me next time On Narrow Boat Journeys Oh, it's time to let the cats out They've been shut in far too long First one out is Mitch Cat with Bushka close behind Come on boys, out you come There's lots to see and do Come on boys, out you come You probably need to Boo. Thank you for watching